name is Zilla Prince and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, as I said in my Doom episode 3, I think it was 3, I said I was going to be reacting to more of the back rooms, which if you haven't been on this channel for a long time, I watched a video named The Back Rooms Found Footage almost two months ago, and I've seen more and more videos get uploaded, but I haven't had the time to react to them. And I see that there has been multiple re videos that have come out within the last two months since the first upload. And I'm going to do something I don't normally do on this channel, but we're going to react to three different videos of the back rooms made by Kane Pixels. I don't normally do this, but since the videos are extremely short, I figured, what the hell? We'll just record to a bunch of different ones in, all in the same video. And I'm going to do the same thing with probably the rest of them, make the video a little bit longer than... Um, I usually do, but since it's going to be the first time I'm doing three separate videos in the same video, we'll see how it goes. And the first one we're going to actually be reacting to is the back rooms, the third test, which came almost immediately after the found footage video I reacted to back in January, or was it early March? I don't know, but not March, February, you know what I meant. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and react to the third test. Three, two, one. Hashabinga. There we go. Oh, you got from you scared the shit out of me last time. That's the captions. Yes, alright, let me restart that from the beginning. Could not understand what he was saying. Oh. July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN research facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. Details regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1988, I am then vice director of the ASIN Foundation described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property construction and management. Wait, so this was in. From what this is, what I currently understand is that the back rooms was meant to be a sort of like spatial anomaly that allowed people to have more space and more room and save budget cuts on taxpayers' dollars. Not sure how that works here. But that doesn't explain where the anomalies came from, that's for certain. first one was a little bit confusing guys because <clears throat> this from well what I like I said I they said it was supposed to be help with management and st st safe storage and apparently it was a spatial anomaly that I, I guess was created by the US government involvement with the tests as far as I can tell Hi, Luna. What? Anyway, like I was saying, Luna will probably be in the background for the remainder of the video, but I gotta turn the webcam back towards me a bit. Well, like I said, it had some sort of involvement with the US government in creating some sort of special anomaly, which ended up creating the back rooms, it appears. But 
Does it explain where the anomalies came from or if it was an accidental creation by the Asadic Foundation, as they said? I didn't really hear the name too well because I was focusing on the background a little bit more than that part when they uh, introduced the main government that created the back rooms. Now we're going to move on to first contact now. And just keep going from there because it seems like in one of the videos there's an expedition into the back rooms. And I, I didn't even. Three, two, one, go. I didn't do a countdown. Which, FBI warning federal law provides serves, serves civil criminal, criminal penalties for the unauthorized reproduction. And reproduction, distribution, and exhibition on the following videotape. If we actually gonna come knocking down to his door any minute now, right, Luna? She just woke up. I woke her up. What the hell? Modifications. Triple support beam beam on internal chamber 23A. Introduction plus 13 additional RF cavities L372. Introduction redacted into redacted. Place detectors 41 through 98. High precision began now. Yeah, precision began new now. Monitors for vibration exceeding 90,000 VG. How much chip tapping in the background? There was no captions, by the way. A chat was like, Something you're winding up. Uh oh, I'm trying to open it again. See, back into the back rooms. I gotta watch that soon. <laughs> Alright, so I guess it means they opened the portal to the back rooms unexpectedly. Or either that, or they accidentally created the back rooms during testing, which created the special anomaly, as we see now. Or rather, the glitch in the matrix, as it's also known as. Well, that sounds fun. Alright, we're on to the last one for this video. We're gonna be now checking out back rooms missing persons like i said i think i saw heard about one of them being an expedition so this is it by the thumbnail as, as i could tell this is the expedition episode so without further ado i'm not going to waste anybody's time we're just going to get right into it three two one luna's still in the background go oh the kid from the first video i reacted to Never mind. Just multiple people. Never mind. Image wrong. Excuse me, but if you're gonna say reward, what the hell is the reward? Two years old. Ellis White. Scott. Multiple people get taken by the back room so much every day. Luna. How you doing? Good. 
1887 to present. An influctuation of missing people, I think this is what it was. Well, they let open the gate like between. Oh, two years have gone by. Yep, expedition. I can't tell if this is CGI or if it's actual uh, live actors. I can't. I can hardly tell. But it, to me, it seems more like uh, live actors, which would be crazy because you would need a high amount of money spent into building the structure, which is this the back rooms. So it's kind of hard to depict from the CGI to the you know the live action. As someone who's also studying a little bit of film, Sacro Saloon, I heard her drop on the ground. Hello, what is that? I don't know. I've never seen this before. Let me just be part of the environment. Dead body in the middle? I just hit my mouse. This makes no sense. This wasn't in the last report. No, this is this is definitely new. Oh yeah, that's a dead body. It's, it's organic. I'm way expecting a jump scare. Fungus? Okay, that wasn't the jump scare I was actually expecting. <laughs> I expected a different kind of jump scare, not gonna lie. You guys. Um Well, that is it for me, at least for this video. I will probably do another video right after this of the back rooms. So I'm probably gonna try and continue it. Cause I do want to watch uh everything there is with the back rooms, because it not only exceeds my curiosity. But it's curiosity of creativity that I see within making these videos. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to call this video here. Like, subscribe for all that stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next, next Backrooms video I react to.